Caritas Internationalis plays a key role in the Vatican's task force to care for people around the world affected by COVID-19. Caritas has a network of eight agencies spread out in local dioceses in over 150 nations. They belong to the first working group of the Vatican's commission dedicated to listening and supporting local churches. Aloysius John, Secretary General of Caritas Internationalis, joins us now from Rome. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, too. Well, Caritas sent out a survey to bishops' conferences asking for information about their needs. What type of response did you receive, and what are the bishops most worried about? Uh, till now, we have sent the letters to the, the questionnaire to the Bishops' Conference, and we obtained about uh, 140. Still others are coming. Uh, the, the most important needs today are uh, how to uh, upgrade the equipments in the, in the hospitals, because 80 uh, countries out of 140, they have hospitals at the national level. How to uh, upgrade the, uh, the hospitals, like uh, materials like um, uh, facilitators for respiration and other, other instruments. They are much worried about the PPE, that's personal protection equipments, uh, so gloves and then uh, the dresses for the, uh, for the nurse, uh, for the people who are, who are taking care of the uh, sick people. And and also uh, the mask. Uh, they're also worried about a certain number of basic medicines where they say there is a, going to be a huge number. They said we must be able to get the medicines, which may be sometimes a bit difficult to procure in some of the countries. Is there a region that you're focusing your efforts on the most? And if so, why? Yeah, the, uh, we are focusing now at the moment on Africa and Middle East, and also in some parts of Latin America. Africa is the a, is a most uh, preoccupying uh, uh, continent because the poverty is very high and there is too much of congestion. People are living too, very close in the, in the urban areas. So our main preoccupation is how to, uh, how to um, get into action quickly in Africa. There is already an outbreak. Uh, South Africa is very much affected. Uh, but we, do, we want to uh, stop the, the pandemic, uh, at least prevent the pandemic for, from uh, gaining grounds quickly. So we we are more uh, involved in uh, in helping them. Africa is one area of preoccupation. And then uh, Middle East, because Middle East is very specific in the sense that there is violence going on, there is war, there are lots of refugee camps, and migrants are everywhere. So our, our main preoccupation is how to attain them and how to uh, help the people in a situation where there is war. And this is the case in Venezuela today, uh, where people are leaving the country massively, and also Ecuador. So these are the specific areas where we are very much worried about. And of course, there is Bangladesh, where there are Rohingyas. And we are also very much worried as to how we could really help this population there. So these are the key, I would say, focus areas for us. As we start to get closer to the recovery phase of this virus, what type of prevention activities are you organizing? Uh, there are lots of activities which are taking place now. First of all, we have put in place a COVID-19 uh, 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 response fund. Uh, this fund is meant to help the member organizations uh, put up uh, preventive activities. What are the preventive activities? Number one, giving the right to information, the right to write information for the people who are lost. Another area where we are trying to prevent is to give people uh, the food, uh, the basic necessities, because one of the needs that people have is basic hygienic hygiene necessities. We are giving them, and they have been trained also how to use the uh, products to wash their hands and also to to be uh, to disinfect their hands. The another another area is uh, food security. One of the key problems, especially in Africa and also to a certain extent in in uh, Middle East, is people don't have food to eat. So there, we are trying to help the people to have food so that they are maintained in the in their living in their in their in the houses and they respect the confinement. We are also taking other activities of sensitization by giving them lots of information on how to take care of the elders, how to take care of the children, and also how to prevent the children from becoming uh, getting into contact with the people who are contagious. Well, thank you so much for all that you're doing. Thank you for your time today. We really appreciate it. Aloysius John, Secretary General of Caritas Internationalis. Thank you very much.